Hello everybody and welcome back to the building of the Ben Buckle Cirrus Moth. Uh, as I hope you can see here, it's time to put the undercarriage together. It's a rather simple affair. Um, in the kit, these parts have been pre-bent, which is always a massive bonus. Um, I've actually marked onto this board, plaster board, the distance between the legs, which corresponds to the location points on the model itself. I'm holding them down with, I actually had a clamp spare in a box. I've screwed that down direct into the board and I've used some cross pins to hold the location uh, correctly. These are the wheels I'm going to use, which I salvaged from a, a model that I've never flown and I've got no intention of flying. That's up in the attic at the moment until I can decide what to do with it. And I need to make sure that the axle will allow these wheels to go on and allow for a collet at the end. So I'm actually being very careful when I jig this up that that's going to work. It's pointless doing an undercarriage that I can't fit the wheels to. So, first thing when it comes to soldering is cleanliness. The second thing that comes to soldering to make it work is cleanliness. It's as simple as that. You need to make sure that everything's clean, then the flux will actually do its job and allow the solder to run. The other thing you need is an adequate heat source. More of that in a moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is using a, a nail file or nail buffer, I'm going to just roughen the surface ready for binding on the three parts. In this case, actually, they're very clean, but it doesn't do any harm to expose a clean surface that hasn't been oxidised over time sitting in a, a kit box. Now, if I put these together, like this, the next thing I need to do is to bind them in that position and make sure that they're jigged up square. And when I said cleanliness, that also extends to the wire that I'm going to use to actually bind them together. So run that through the file to make sure there's no oxidation on it. You can get this, I've actually just got this lying around. But you can just use, um, strip down some electrical cable and you'll find an ad adequate way to do the job. I'm now going to attempt to tie this up. It's a bit like planting spaghetti at first until you get a bit of a hold on it. So we might do that as a time lapse. As you can see, that's bound in place now, but you need to be very careful because there's room for a collet on there quite easily, which you'll have to take my word for it. But on this side, there isn't. So what I need to do is pull the legs together. I'll do that using some wire. It'll be very much a gerrymander rig, but I'll pull it together and once I'm happy that there's room for the wheels, then we'll start thinking about applying some heat. I have here some garden twine, which I'll use to pull in the legs by wrapping round the uprights. And hopefully that'll do the job. Cut off a length. Might be better if this is time lapse because the air may turn blue. So here we go. Well, there we go. After a little bit of cursing um, and a case of taking it apart and starting again, I'm happy with that now. Um, the undercarriage will fit on. There's room for a collet on the outside. The next thing is heat. And for that, I'm introducing Big Bertha. Now this belongs to a friend, 
it's a 100 watt iron at least i think it's bigger than that and that's what you need when you're dealing with large pieces of uh, piano wire like this you can't attempt this with a 30 watt uh, iron if you use a blow lamp that tends to be a too, bit too aggressive and you actually burn off the flux so you can't achieve a good solder joint so i'm going to whack this on get it heated up make sure the tip's clean retin it and then we'll see how we go with this while the iron's heating up what i'm going to do is apply some flux you may notice that there are wires sticking up everywhere but they'll all be pinched off and the whole thing will be cleaned up afterwards the wire is essentially just to hold everything together so i'm applying the flux around the joint trying not to disturb the um, alignment because I want it this is the way I want it to be and your flux on there I've had this flux forever I need to get some more I've noticed that axle has moved slightly. I want the axle sitting on the top of the tr of the three pieces of wire. And that should be enough. Let's see how the iron is heating up. It's certainly starting to heat, but it's not there yet. It'll take some time. We'll leave that for a second. We'll come back when that's ready. I think this iron might be heated up now, so let's give it a whirl and see what happens. The flux is burning off at the moment, which really means it's not ready quite ready certainly tell that the heat of this iron is very effective see how much I was feeding in the solar there hope I'm going to let that cool, trim off the excess of this wire, and then apply more solder. Let's do this side. Hope you can still see this. Let's come back to this. I think we might have gone out of focus there, but I hope you're getting the gist of what I'm doing here. Let the heat flow. I'm trying to keep the iron in contact with as much of the wire as possible. Looks like a nice joint, I'm happy with that. Let's get some heat on here.
you need to trim off the excess here of the wire because it's getting in the way now. Be careful because it'll be hot. This one. Right, so we'll let that cool down and then I'll unpin it and we'll have a look at what we've got. And there we have it, the finished joint. That's not going to come adrift and even one of my heavy landings. It needs to be cleaned up now with some scouring powder and a, an old toothbrush to get all the flux off because that's corrosive. And I don't know if I can try and get it to stay in focus. This little bit of metal that's protruding on this upper leg, I'll cut that off, dremel that off, so that I've got a little bit more room to play with for putting the collets on for the undercarriage wheels. So there you go. Keep it clean, add the flux, big suitable soldering iron. Hope that was helpful to people. Take care, get flying or get creative. Bye now.